Okay, so first of all, I have some data here. I have dates and times in this column, and then I have wind direction in degrees, and then wind direction as categories, and then I have wind speed as meters per second, and I want to plot all of this data as a wind rows. So the first thing I'm going to do is select everything with control A, then I'm going to go to insert and pivot table and OK. Then I'm going to take the wind direction here and move it into columns, and then I'm going to take the wind direction and also move it into values, and it has automatically become the count of wind direction, which is what I want. Then I'm going to take the wind speed and put it into rows, and I don't want it to be all individual values going down the side, so I'm going to group this, and I'm going to group it into groups of four and OK. And then I'm going to right click on this and select show values as percentage of grand total. Then I'm going to select all of this and copy it. And then I'm going to right click and paste as values. Then again, I'm going to copy this row. And then I am going to copy these categories. The blanks are just anything that didn't come with a wind speed, so I'm going to ignore those. And also for anything greater than 18, I'm going to group it all together because these numbers are quite small. So I'm going to create another category in here that is just greater than 18. Then I'm going to do an equals and select this. And I'm going to click and drag this along. Then I'm going to do another equals and select this and do plus this value. And then I'm going to click and drag that along and then drag it down. Then I'm going to do equals this value plus the sum of everything greater than 18. And then I am going to click and drag this along. Now, if I do equals, sum, all of these values, plus the grand total of the blanks, this should give me a value of 1. And I'm just doing that to check I have done it correctly. I am basically stacking all of the categories on top of each other. Now, I'm going to copy this table again and then paste it as values. And now I'm going to reorder the columns. So I'm going to start at north and imagine that I'm going clockwise around a compass and put the categories in this order. So I'm going to go east, southeast, south, southwest, west, and then northwest. I'm going to select all of this and move it back up here. And now I'm going to select all of this and go to insert and insert a filled radar chart. And it's automatically made the chart for me, but I am going to delete all of this so I can show you what it's actually doing. So I'm going to add in here and my first series is going to be 2 to 6 and then my series values are going to be these values here and then enter and OK. And then you can see here at the moment I have my values going from 1 around the edge to 8 but I don't want this so I'm going to edit the horizontal axes labels and I'm going to make it my column headings and OK. And now you can see here I have the labels going around the edge from north to east, south and west, which is why we had to reorder the column headings previously because the pivot table automatically puts them in alphabetical order. Now I'm just going to quickly add in all of my other series here. So I'm going to select all of this and enter and OK and then add in 10 to 14 and select my series values here and enter and OK. 
and then add in 14 to 18 and then select my series values here and enter and OK and then finally everything greater than 18 and select all of these values and enter and OK. Now you can see here at the moment greater than 18 is on top and it's covering up all of the other categories. So I need to reorder these series and I'm just going to use the up arrow to do this to move all of them up so that they're the opposite way round. And then OK. And you can see here I have now made my wind rose. You can see that for my particular site, the wind is almost always coming from the southwest, and the most common wind speed is the orange, which is between 6 to 10 meters per second, and the second most common wind speed is 2 to 6 meters per second, and the wind speed almost never gets up above 18 meters per second. So in general, the wind speed is very low at my site. So that is now the official end of the video. I'm just going to spend a couple more minutes formatting this graph to get it the way I want it. So I'm going to select all of this data here and go to home and percentage. And that will change my axes labels to a percentage. Then if I go to sheet one, I am going to copy these column headings, which I made earlier and just paste these in here. So I have the actual words going around the edge. Then I'm going to add in my units here of meters per second. And if I copy that, I can put that into all of the other labels as well. Then I'm going to select everything here and change the font to black and make it a bit bigger. Then if I select the legend and press Control one I'm going to move the legend to the left and move it into the middle a bit more. Then if I select my axes, I am going to change this to 27 and then change this to zero, just to remove the gap around the edge. Okay, and that is it.